General Savage. At ease, soldier. Hey guys, and welcome to another wig review. This wig review is featuring Bobby Boss's Tiara. Um, I love the color that's right there. Um, it's like a bluish purplish color, but I got it in the color TTHL 4-26. Um, it's like um, some browns and blondes um, on braid. And here's just me showing you what the lace looks like. It's pretty transparent. Of course, you won't see the lace on the front. I'm gonna cut that off. It comes with a comb in the back. It comes with combs on each side, and it has a five-inch closure. And I like the long parts. They look more realistic on wigs to me. So I always um, moisturize my hair. Um, with a detangler detangle it um, and then I put this Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizer on it I just need to keep it moist while I have it under these wigs I'm trying to cut this color out and I need for it to be in good condition while I'm cutting the color out and I trim the edges I use a shampoo comb to comb it out um, before I get ready to twist it down Just don't want it to have any tangles and I don't do a whole lot under these wigs a lot of times I just pull it straight back but after I've shampooed and conditioned it I will go ahead and try to twist it down I don't braid it down my hair is really really thin and fine um, doesn't have a lot of density so I mean the less I do to it the better condition it stays in I'm trying to cut all this color out and get my hair back healthy and as you can see, I just put it in three cornrow twists. And that's that. I use the got to be to hold my hair down. I have had good experience with this got to be. A lot of people say it breaks their hair off. I haven't had that problem because when I get ready to get rid of whatever style, I always wet it. I don't just pull the wigs off, I wet them and let them slide off. So I haven't had that problem with got to be glued. I um, I like using it better to hold my edges down because my hair is so curly and a lot of edge control products really won't hold it down by itself. I have to add the uh, got to be spray. So I like using this got to be. Um, it doesn't break my hair off at all and I always have will have moisturized my hair before applying it so it doesn't dry it out and then there's a good old handy dandy stocking cap to hold everything down in place Okay, right here I'm just showing you a clip of how it looked when I put the wig on with the lace still attached. It's straight out the box like that and then there's when I cut the lace off and am now applying the wig to my head. What I generally try to do when I apply a wig is align the, the comb in the back with the middle of my nape and then I'll find the sides of the um, the side combs of the wig and make sure that they're applied evenly now that does not say that I am always going to wear it that way but I try to apply the wig first the way the manufacturer intends for us to wear them just in case you know it's it's going to fit my head the way I want it to and as you can see from the side view and from the back view applying it the way the manufacturer intended me to um, actually looks good just like that I think it's a very pretty wig. I love bobs anyway. I'm a bob person, so I'll generally search for a good bob before I look for a long one. I used to be into just long hair, but the older I get, it irritates me. 
And being 42, having to work and do the things that I do, everything irritates me now. So um, the less hair, the better for me. So um, I like wearing my own edges out as much as possible. Um, one, it's healthier for my hair. And two, to me, it gives a little more natural naturalness to the wig style. Again, I'm using that got to be. Um, I wanted to use my this edge control that I use, but um, my hair was fairly wet, and using an edge control at this point was not gonna lay anything down. Right there, I'm just adhering some of the um, gots to be to the corner of the wig underneath because when it dries, it'll dry with it in place and it won't move. It won't if the wind blows, it won't flap up. So, um, and you'll see me do the same thing on the other side and try to create me some sideburns. So as you can see, it kind of helps um, get rid of the line of demarcation when you use your own edges. Um, so that's all I'm doing right now. It's just creating some smooth edge effect. And there's no rhyme or reason to how I do edges because I just do whatever is going to end up looking right to me on me for that particular wig. So there's no routine. Um, as you can see, I just switched that sideburn up because it just didn't look right to me going backwards. So now I have it going forward and I think it looks better that way. It's a really nice natural looking bob to me. I love the color pattern. I love the curl pattern. I just I just think it's a it's a nice wig like for everyday wear. And you could even dress it up and style it to go out. You could do just about anything with this wig. So um, I liked it coming straight. And really, that's it. I mean, there's not a whole lot to styling it. It looks good just coming straight out the box, but I wanted to flatten the hair near the part on the shorter side. See how that just kind of takes that wiggy effect away when it's not lumpy at the part. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, completely flat, but just flatter than it is when it first comes out. See how smooth that looks? Again, I'm using the Gots to Be. People use bed head sticks or some other kind of wax stick. Um, I don't have one, so I'm, I'm choosing to use the Gots to Be glued. And I'm just taking a little bit more to this other side, um, just seeing if it looks even more natural, and it does. I'm using the back of the toothbrush to flatten it out, and I think that looks really good. So now to make my part more visible, back to my handy dandy fit me um, finishing powder and it doesn't take a lot of this. I mean you don't really want the part to be like too wide of peering or anything like that just so that it's a little bit more visible than it is without it. And I always take mine all the way throughout the part. I see people only doing like... Um, you know going to the middle of the part or just a small portion of it I just I don't understand that because I mean you can still see the rest of the part whether you add the rest of the foundation or not it's just not as visible but to each its own whatever you think is best I prefer to um, make the entire part more visible this is Lotta Body um, Wrap Lotion um, I use this on a lot of curly wigs. Um, right now, I'm just using it to smooth down the flurries that are right there near the part. I really don't want to add it to the shaft of the hair just at the root near the part. I want the um, shaft of the hair to have some freedom. Not too much freedom. I don't want it big. Um, it is cute thicker, which you'll see in a moment, but I like flat bobs too. And there you go. Alright, 
so thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my video i hope that you enjoyed it i enjoyed making it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you next time